Good evening everyone, welcome back to the kitchen table. Uh, this evening on the kitchen table just a quick um, video that's been requested by uh, quite a few people actually asking about the actual wiring up of the uh, DJI FPV hub, which is this little board here. But obviously certain rituals have to be maintained, so before we go into that let's have a look at uh, this evening's beverage of choice. Uh, there it is, a little Sicilian number. And not bad at all from from that part of the world, so cheers. A little young that one, I think. Right, so this is the FPV hub, which is designed to make a solderless plug and play connection between DJI gear on your Phantom. And the board is actually just this little this little bit here. And I've actually uh, got it fixed onto my iOS D. It's piggybacking on that with a bit of sticky pad. It's tiny, it's very inexpensive, and it comes with all the cables you need so that if you have a DJI AVL58 video transmitter and an H3 2D or 3D gimbal, there is no soldering. Um, so we'll have a look at exactly how it wires in. This is the main the main wire out from the phantom internals which I've just pulled away so you can you can see. There's a little micro switch here which is labelled OSD or video. If you have an on-screen display, which obviously I, I do here, then I, you flick it to that. If you're just wanting to pass video through, you flick it to video. Here it marked VTX. You run a cable which goes into the AVL58. If you don't have that, if you have a different brand of video transmitter, the kit does come with a cable with this connector on this end and then a series of colour-coded wires which you can then solder onto the relevant wires on your video transmitter. So you don't have to use it with a AVL58. If you use it with something else, though, you will have to do a bit of soldering. But as I say, um, you know they provide a, a special cable and instructions in the manual as to which colour coded wire needs to be attached to which wire on your VTX. Then there's two more sockets behind, behind here. One is for the iOS D Mini, one is for the iOS D Mark II. They're two different ones and this obviously just runs in. It's a split cable. You've got two pins here. The Mini has one, I believe, and it just will run through to the Mini. Um, Here's where you plug the main the main cable coming out from the inside of the Phantom and then here is where you plug into the back of the gimbal. Uh, and it's that simple. Um, it's pretty foolproof. Um, as I say, the only difficulty would be if you weren't using a, a DJI video transmitter, you would have to, to solder these wires. Uh, but, you know, with a bit of practice and a bit of patience, that's not a a difficult um, concept to do um, and I think that's just a, a, a great bit of kit you could there's nothing to stop you mounting it internally um, I guess you could easily aff affix it and, and, and run these wires in a, in a more kind of um, subtle way but for me having everything out here I can see it it's easy to know that everything's plugged in it's easy to do a bit of maintenance and it's also easy to quickly replace it if I ever want to change this out for a mini or change to a different video transmitter. So I think, and for the price as well, it's it's something like £11 sterling, uh, yeah, equivalent. so it's going to be under $20 um, and that was just a great, a great way, especially if you're relatively new to doing the, putting an FPV system together, I really recommend that, it made things very, very easy. So there we go, just a quick video as promised um, and as, as requested by a few people. I hope that's proved useful to some of you and um, we'll see you again soon back on the kitchen table. Cheers.